He is a Hong Konger who was posted to work in Singapore. And a Malaysian who has been living in Singapore for the past seven years. We met through a mutual friend and my first impression of him was not good at all. He likes to annoy people. But there was something about him that made me fell for him so quickly. Our relationship began through a message on Facebook. And not long after we started dating, he found out that he had to return to Hong Kong at the end of the year. We decided to continue seeing each other, but made it clear that a long distance relationship wouldn't work for us. And so the day came when he left. Even though he was out of my life, his influence was still strong. I remembered like how we like to use uh, music uh, and movies to express our feelings. Once, he sent me a link to watch Love in the Bath. I cry every time I watched it. If you have seen the movie, you'll know what I mean. I also started listening to Kento Pop and came across the song Smiley Face during a holiday trip. It meant so much to me that I began to look for more Paco songs. In May 2012, I went to Hong Kong. We met and I realized that I never got over him. I did think of moving to Hong Kong to be with him, but that was going to pressure him to a new level of commitment. To me, it's just not right. But during this trip, I finally got my hands on a Paco CD. They don't sell them in Singapore. And, well, Paco was my guide to recovery. I never thought I would return to Hong Kong so soon, but in December 2012, my best friend and I attended Park Ho's concert there, and we had a great time. He knew I was there, but we never met because I knew it would only hurt me to see him again. He has been over a year now since I last saw him, and I'm still unsure how I would feel if I ever did see him again. But there's one thing I've learned. If you love someone, sometimes you need to let go. If he comes back to you, he's yours. If he doesn't, then it was never meant to be.